you guys can see we're in the kitchen ready to cook it up and it's been a minute since i've done a cooking with gabby it's been like some months almost a year basically but um we're back at it i'm back here cooking and i'm here to show you guys what i made i want to get into doing this a lot more often to help me stay accountable for one making sure i eat and then two just because it's fun to do as i try to find different like meals to make and things to make etc some things would be vegan some things would be just strictly vegetarian and no meat um other things would be super healthy and all whole you know raw foods and vegetables but yeah let's get right into it so this is the ingredients that i used for today making the meatball sandwiches um i would have used more but this is all i had so right here i'm just pressing down the garlic bread so that there is room for the meatballs um, as well as to put some marinara sauce that I was already using cooking in with the meatballs and some cheese on there so I can put that in the oven let the cheese melt down also to cook the bread just to give it a little bit of a crunchy um, taste to it So I let that um, cook in the oven for about five minutes and then this is the meatballs here getting simmered into the sauce. I just add some chopped onions, some Italian oregano seasoning, black pepper and then that was pretty much it. This is me taking out the garlic bread after letting it sit in the oven and then I just start adding the sauce from the meatballs and just assembling the sandwich all together. I added some more shredded cheese on top as well as some parsley to make it look all fancy, you know. Okay, you see it closed perfectly fine. So wait, who? Who? All right, y'all. Let's try this. Some meat sub. It's really good. You know your food is good when you do this. Like, if you're not doing this, it's not good. Shout out to old girl. Really good. I actually, I don't know why I was supposed to make this a while ago and I never did, but I have enough ingredients to make some more. It's really, really, really freaking good. Cheesy. I definitely, I wanted to add cream cheese. Uh, normally when I do um spaghetti or any type of like pasta with marinara sauce, I typically add cream cheese to thicken it up and give it like a subtle sweet taste to it. Um, but also thickness, you know, we like, thick like me. But I didn't have any, so I just had to do what I can with what I had and what I had is what I showed y'all, as y'all can see. I just used some mozzarella, some Kobe, Kobe Jack cheddar, um, shredded cheese, prego sauce, the vegan um, garden meatballs and just you know some garlic bread that you can get from wally world all of these things was bought from wally world but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if y'all try it out at home it's definitely very quick like you can make this in 30 minutes damn near it's really just warming up the sauce um i also add some onions up in there as well i chopped up some onions and put some onions in there but i'm gonna do this again i'm gonna do it up the next time and i'll probably add like onions mushrooms and all of my extra stuff but this is how I did it this time, you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.